Dear students, in this class, we will learn the sampling of signal using MATLAB simulation. The Simulink is a software for modeling, simulating, and analyzing the dynamical system. It supports both linear and non-linear system modeled in continuous time, the sample time, the hybrid of both. For modeling, the Simulink provides the graphical user interface for building the model as a block diagram using click and drag mouse option. A Simulink includes the various block library of, for sync, source, linear, and non-linear component and connectors. After you define a model, you can simulate it. Using the scope and other display block, you can see the simulation result while the simulation is running. The simulation results can be put in the MATLAB workspace for post-processing and visualization. Now we will learn how to do this Sampling theorem using Simulink. The sampling, the given a continuous sinusoidal signal S of t and the impulse train P of t, we can sample the continuous time signal S of t by multiplying with P of t. The sampling is a process that converts the continuous time signal to discrete. Suppose the period of impulse in P of t is t s and its corresponding sampling frequency, Fs, is equal to 1 by Ts. The continuous sinusoidal signal has the frequency of F. Here we have three cases. The sampling frequency is less than 2F. The sampling frequency is equal to 2F. The sampling frequency is greater than 2F. We are going to analyze all the cases in our program. Consider here we have two signals. One is a continuous sine wave, another one is the train of impulse. If you try to multiply these signals, we will be getting the sampled version of the continuous time signal. And this is the block diagram of sampling of signal using a simulink. And here we have to go with a continuous wave by selecting the sine wave block and the train of impulse by selecting the pulse generator we have to display the output using the scope for both the signal, then the mul. Then we have to multiply the sine wave with the train of impulse. We will be getting the sampled version of the input. Now we will see how to execute this program using Simulink. So first we have to go with a Simulink. So go to Simulink. So this window will be open. In that, we have to select the blank model. So we have to select the blank model. We can able to view the empty blank model. So this is the empty blank model. Now we have to go to the Simulink library. We have to type a sine wave in a search blank. We can able to see a sine wave block. Drag the sine wave block to the model window. Right click, add the block to the model. Just drag and drop it. Double click the sine wave block. We are going to do the block parameter setting. We are going to modify the frequency and the phase. Here the frequency to be of 2 star, 5 star, 500. The phase is 5 by 2. Give apply. OK. Then we have to go to the Simulink library and type a pulse generator in the blank, search blank. Right click, add the block to the model untitled. Drag and drop it. Double click 
the pulse generator for parameter setting. And here we have two options. One is the time-based, another one is the sample-based. So now we are going with a time-based. We are going with a time-based. Here the pulse type is time-based. The pulse type here is a time-based. Then we have to modify the amplitude, period and pulse width. By giving the period as 0 0.02, by giving the period as 0 0.02, giving the period 0.02, the pulse width 50, just we have to give apply and OK. Now we are going to visualize both the signal by taking the scope from the sink, add the block to the model untitled. We are going to use your two scope one for sine wave, another one for the pulse generator. Add the block to the model untitled. So give a connection from sine wave to the scope and from pulse generator to the scope one. Then Set the simulation time here 0 0.01, 0 0.01 and try to run the Simulink model. We can able to see the output in the scope. Double click the scope. Double click the scope. We can able to view the sine wave. If you want, you can able to maximize the scope window. The same thing we can able to view the scope one by double clicking. And here we have taken a 50% of duty cycle. If you want, we can able to go back to the program model and we can able to reduce the duty cycle to 10%. So once again, go back to the pulse generator, double click and set the pulse width to be of 10%. Apply. Okay. Now you run the program. You can able to see the train of impulse. Now, if you see in the block diagram, we have a product. So for that, we have to go to the Simulink library and go to the operation. We can able to select the product block, add the block to the model untitled. So we have to give both the inputs to this product. Just we have to give a connection from sine wave to product, another input from pulse generator to the product. So once the connection is done, 
we have to take another scope to view the sampled continuous time signal. So you have to go to the Simulink library. So go to the Simulink library. Go to scope, drag and drop the scope to the blank model. Give a connection from product to scope two. From product to scope two. So once the connection is done, we can able to run the block. We can able to run the model. We can able to select the scope too, and we can able to visualize the output. Here we have taken the sampling frequency should be less than 2F. The continuous time signal as a frequency of 500, 2 into 500. So the sampling frequency is less than 2 into 500. Here the sampled signal cannot represent the sinusoidal signal. There is a overlapping of signal. So there is an aliasing effect. Again, we are going to visualize the second case by considering the sampling frequency is equal to 2 into f. So here we are going to take the period as 0 0.001. Apply 0 0.001. Apply and give OK. Again, we have to run the model. Go to scope 2. Double click. We can able to view the output. And here the sampled signal is same as the input. The third case, we are going to choose the sampling frequency is greater than 2 into f. So once again, we have to go to the pulse generator, double click, go to the PDF. Now we are going to choose the sampling frequency is greater than 2 into F. So here it is 10 kilohertz. So 1 by 10 kilohertz is nothing but 0 0.0001. Double click the scope to after running and here we can able to see the sample the signal represent the original continuous time signal. Also, we can see the a number of samples within one period of the original signal. We can able to see more number of samples within one period. So these are the possible viva question. Define sampling, define Nyquist rate, state sampling theorem. Thank you all.